Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to talk about the skills in drawing biological diagrams. It is basically drawing some diagrams that you see when you are studying biology. For example, you want to draw the cells that you observed under the microscope, or you have a specimen of an animal or a tissue in front of you, and you want to draw it down. First thing you have to note is that you have to use a pencil or a sharp pencil to draw things. Do not use a pen because it is difficult for you to rub it off if you have drawn it wrongly. And a second point to note is that you need to draw large diagrams, preferably occupying most of the paper that you are using. Take an example of these two. This one is a good example because it occupies most of the space. Take if this one is the paper size, and the left one is not a good example because the cell occupying too less space inside the paper, and it is not good enough. You should draw larger diagrams such that everything, every structure, can be shown clearly. The third point to note is that you need to use smooth single lines to draw. What does it mean? The means you do not draw like you are painting a picture. Like, oh, I want to draw a line, then I use several several lines like a sawmill. That is not correct because these one means this line is not smooth, meaning that the things that you saw is not smooth. For take an example, if this is a cell, the cell edges should be smooth because the cell is not breaking apart. So your lines should not be breaking like this, and you have to keep all parts in proportion to just put what you see inside. Try to. Draw them in proportion, and try not to shade the diagram. If you want to show the color difference, for example, the cell's nucleus is more darker, more deeper in color than the cytoplasm, then you should not like this shade it. You should instead use dots. The more dots that you give means the denser the color it is. If you think the nucleus is more deep in color, then you put dots more. And the side of the sum also contains color, but the color is less,、uh, is lighter. So you give less dots. It is like this, and you have to draw freehand. Do not use a ruler or a pair of compasses. Even though you want to draw straight line, you have to use your hand. Do not use ruler to help you. For example, this is a plant cell. The shape of a plant cell. Okay. And for the dots, for the dots, pay,、uh, pay attention that the dots are really dots, not like this. Because if you want to draw it fast, usually you use your pencil and then they become lines. So pay attention; they are really dots, but not lines. Okay. So, like this, this one actually is not really that good example, but it is good enough.、Uh, things that it, it she drew not correct is she used ruler because she is using the program to draw it, so the line is pretty straight. But、uh, you should draw it with free hand, bear in mind. And these things. The student had colored them. Actually, she should not color them, but use denser dots. But you can see the、uh, cytoplasm here. She used dots. You can see the color is by dots, but not shading. And everything is okay, except that the、uh, the labels actually should be horizontal, which I will describe later. Okay, this is an example. And the sixth point to note is that you have to label all parts, and the labeling lines should be straight. Horizontal and should not cross each other. What does it mean? Should not cross each other. Take an example like this is the cell, and then you want to oh this is nucleus, and then you say nucleus, and this is the cytoplasm. Okay, cytoplasm, and so on, so on. So here there is a cross. It is not beautiful to draw to label things like this. You should put the labeling lines horizontal. This is nucleus. This is the cytoplasm. This is the cell membrane, and write all the names here. And you have to give the title, of course, and the magnification power. So an example is this one. So this is a quite good example. This is a liver cell with a title, with a magnification power, and then smooth lines, single line, and then with some color.、Uh, actually, the student can can give some color on it too, because I I think he can see some color difference, but、uh, he didn't bear,、uh, dare to.、Uh, He didn't do this, but anyway, you can see that the labeling lines are horizontal and all on one side. If you do not have enough size,、uh, enough space on one side, you can also label it on the other side. You can also label it on the other side too. Both sides together, that is all right. But just do not cross the labeling lines, and that is fine. Okay, and the eighth point to note is that if you are drawing some 
certain section, for example, you are cutting the specimen uh, from top to down or from left to right, and you can write it down what kind of cutting. Is it longitudinal section or transverse section? Uh, usually, the, the, if you are cutting some kind of specimen, for example, you are cutting off a root or a shoot, then you have to write this down. If it is a cell, then you don't need to. And if you draw the whole specimen, you can indicate the direction of drawing. Dorsal, ventral, and lateral means chin, hao, zagan. So which view are you drawing? You can write it down too, if there is a direction. So there are two kinds of microscopic drawings. The first one is low power diagrams. For low power diagrams, you just need to show the tissues, the structures, and only outlines of the structures are drawn. You don't need to draw any cells because it is low power. You may even cannot see the cells. One example is like this. This is a low power uh, transverse section of a plant root. And you can see the xylem phloem, and then you, you draw whatever you can see and label it. The labeling lines are horizontal. And this is a good example. Uh, even better if you can dot, use dot to shade it. Uh, use dot to indicate the color. The next one is the high power diagrams. The high power diagrams, you have to draw individual cells. Sometimes you can draw more than one cell, but sometimes you just draw one cell. If you see which wh what, what kind of things you want to indicate. For example, this one is a plant root tissue and you want to show the tissue so you draw more than one cell and even better the same if you can use dots to indicate the color difference and you can see the labeling lines are still horizontal but if you if you draw the horizontal line here and indicate this is a companion cell maybe this word and this word is being too close together and it is not pretty so she used a line like this and then horizontal this is still counted as a horizontal line and it is still okay so this one is uh, exercise for you. So this diagram is poorly drawn. Can you point out any mistakes? Uh, try to think about it, and the answer is right below the uh, right in the link below this video. Check it out after you have finished answering it. Bye.